Brennan Taylor, yeah. Taylor School Sports. I'm with Shannon Briggs. How you yeah. doing? What's up, champ? How much, man? I saw uh, David Hay. Apparently, you said he's uh, sent the contract back quite a few times. What, yeah. What's the deal with that right now? Yeah, well, you know, we're working it out now. We're just fixing up a last couple, you know, ins and outs. But um, it's going to happen. I think it's going to be what? October or September? Yeah, October. 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 I'm knocking them out cold. Flat. Let's go, champ. Okay. Um, champ. I saw the children's book. You had the uh, yeah. little children's story you told. Uh, is that a real thing? Is that, yes, is that coming it is. out? The children's book is coming soon. The, the Great Adventures of the Champ. That's right, it's coming soon. Check out www.letsgochamp.com for all the merchandise, cups, hats, books, hoodies, you name it. The Champ got it all. Let's go, Champ. All right, is there a release date for that book? Yeah, the book will be out um, the day of the fight. Okay. Let's so go, Champ. Probably in October. Yeah, October. Okay. Uh, you recently went to the Muhammad Ali funeral. Yes. Uh, can you talk about the whole experience and what it was, was it? It was, it, was, uh, it was a great experience to be at the Muhammad Ali uh, viewing and passing of his life, you know what I'm saying? Celebration, excuse me, celebration of his life. And uh, I met a lot of people there, a lot of people there, um, great people and just all around great people. Everyone was great. It was a great event and I was happy to be there. Let's go champ. Okay, uh, what was the most interesting thing you would say about the whole funeral? Like anybody you met or a story you heard? Or? You could just feel the energy. Ali was like, you know, his energy, his presence was, it was like, it was there. Everyone just came to, you know, show appreciation and love for him. It was, it was a great thing. Yeah, man, I saw you on the news. It was pretty, it was pretty cool. It's the champ. That's Let's right. Champ. Worldwide. Let's go, champ. All right, we got some uh, heavyweight fights coming up. I know. What what what's taking the whole Wilder Areola fight uh, that happened? Because the... uh, it's gonna be good, man. I think you know Wilder's gonna come in there. I mean, you know, um, Areola's gonna do what he gotta do. He's trying to win the title. He's gonna press forward, hopefully, and um, hopefully he doesn't get hurt, but nothing big, and you know, makes it happen. Makes it for an exciting fight. Do you feel like uh, people are under underestimating him? Um, of course. You know, looking at his, you know, his last fights and everything. He's, you know, it took a lot of punches, a lot of abuse in the, in the ring, a lot of punches. So, we, you know, people thinking that he's going to get knocked out easy. But um, we'll see. We're hoping for the best. Okay. Uh, well, another fight I also heard about, oh, that also came out. I know you're a big Golovkin fan. They said he's fighting Kell Brook. Ooh. Have you heard about that? Kell Brook? Yeah, he's fighting. Who's going to fight you, Banks Jr.? Apparently, it fell through, and I guess Kell Brook's what's going to what's, what's gonna happen now. Wow. Nah, I was thinking about that um, that Eubanks Jr. fight. That was the one. Ooh, I'm a big fan. Eubanks Jr. can fight. Yeah. He is no joke. What you think about him? He's the man. He is the man in boxing right now. Trust me, I'm telling y'all. Eubanks Jr. is the man in boxing, hands down, period. So you That's think, it. Let's go champ. Do you think it was a good move for Golovkin not to take that fight? A good move. A smart move. I'm telling you, champ. That boy could fight. I know what I'm talking about. Golovkin can fight too. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he can get busy. That was, that, was gonna be, that was a super fight right there that no one even knew was going to happen. Yeah, well, they said it didn't happen because I guess him and his dad wanted complete control of the promotion and it went all the way down to them wanting to pick the security guards and the purses and the undercards and all this stuff. So that's why the fight didn't happen. I don't, I don't, know, know, I don't, I don't know what happened. But <laughs> anyway, I don't know anyway uh, he's fighting Kell Brook now. Yeah. So, you know, just now I don't Brooke, know much about Kell Brook, but, you know, I, I, I've seen him, I think, once or twice. He could fight. I don't yeah. know. It's kind of like uh, when Sugar Ray Leonard moved to Middleweight because he's fighting at 160 now. Yeah, 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 that's going to be a I don't know if you heard the, heard the other news. They said that Josh was supposed to fight uh, Parker before January 9th. Wow. I know you're big on Parker. Yeah. I know you're big on Joshua. Ooh, what do you yeah. think about that fight? That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a great fight right there. I'm serious. That's a fight right there. Parker got hands. Ooh, that boy got some hands. Got the hands. And then Joshua got some hands too. Oh, it's going to be a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a, a good, big, fast, heavyweight fight. Who do you favor on that one? Um, <clears throat> you know what? That's really a. I, that, that, that fight there is a pickup. It could go either way. That could be a draw. It could be, you know, it could be something crazy. It could be something good. You know, I don't know if, how big of a puncher Parker is, but I know his hands is crazy. You know, I love the way he throws a variety of different punches. Yeah. Not just one or two different things. He punches, he throws a variety of everything. Uppercuts, hooks, hook off the jab, right uppercuts, overhand rights. Parker get busy. And Joshua get busy too. You know what I mean? He, he, he mixing it up. I like his check hook that he's throwing now. Um, he looking good, man. You know, that could be, that could be a great heavyweight fight. Parker's kind of like, uh, he's kind of like you when you were younger because you used to throw a lot of combinations. Yeah, yeah, he get busy, man. I'm impressed. He's better than me than I was younger, to be honest with you. He's got some, he's got some talent. He's got some, some, some hell of a talent. What do you think makes him better than you when you were younger? Because nah, you're pretty talented. Just, he, well, I was, you know, I was like more aggressive in the first round. I want to get you out of there because I had breathing problems. I was, you know, the anxiety would bring on my asthma that I was already suffering from. So I think, you know, I was a, out the gate guy and more exciting to watch. But he gets busy. He, he, he just moves his hands in different ways that I'm impressed with. And he puts them together properly? He puts them but? together properly. He showed in the last fight that he um, he can go the distance. He can stay in there with a guy that's a tough guy. You know, I'm impressed. Okay. Any message to the boxing world? 
Huh? Any message to the boxing world, your fans out there? Oh, no, nah, I just appreciate y'all, man. You know, I'm here every day. Y'all can catch me on Instagram every day, all day. I'm the most consistent fighter ever when it comes to posting on um, Facebook, Twitter. I'm always up, you know, on social media because that's how I'm dealing with the people. That's how I'm relating to the people so they can see the champ. Live in action, it's the champ. champ right. Shannon, thank you as always for having you. Great, great <laughs> talking to you, man. Thank you.